Hey, Brian. What's going on, Kirk? Can you do the Seinfeld video for the channel? Seinfeld? No, yeah, no. Uh, John mentioned he was sending me that one video right away. Give me one second. I got it for you. What a weirdo. The latest from the Lego Ideas line gives us Seinfeld. And if you were alive during the 90s, you are fully aware of this cultural phenomenon from the minds of Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld. Today, I'll be taking a deep dive on the Lego set and showing off as many references as I could find over the course of the nine seasons of the show. There are five minifigures included in the set and 20 stickers that are used for paintings on the walls, the doors, and a few other details you'll notice as you're taking a look at the set. And we'll start with Jerry Seinfeld. Now, the printing on the figure got a little bit messed up, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but otherwise, the setting that the figure comes with is the intro section that you see at the beginning of almost every single episode where Jerry is doing a little bit of stand-up because obviously he's a stand-up comedian and it's paying reference to that throughout the show, and I'm very excited they carry that through into the Lego set. Taking a look at Elaine, she's wearing that suit that you're very aware of and holding a fish in a bag, which is actually from season three, episode six, The Parking Garage, where they end up getting lost in a parking garage and she's holding a, a, a fish bag. So that's a very unique way they decided to convey that and it actually looks pretty good. George Costanza is obviously included in the set and he has a loaf of bread and a fishing pole which is a reference to season 7 episode 11 The Rye where there's a whole debacle about him needing to replace uh, a loaf of rye bread and he has to use a fishing pole to sneak it up to his girlfriend's house so that way the parents don't remember that his parents ended up stealing the rye back after they brought it to dinner so I, man, this show really is about nothing, but you gotta love it for what it is, you know what I mean? Cosmo Kramer is holding a giant pretzel because in season three, episode 11, the alternate side, he has a single line where he says, these pretzels are making me thirsty. And you know, man, he's gotta love those pretzels. You can't knock him for that. He's actually holding his coffee table book about coffee tables, which is from season five, episode 22, where he goes on the Regis show, talks about how the coffee table book can actually unfold into a coffee table. I can't believe that this is actually a thing. Hello, Newman. He makes an appearance in this set as well. He just seems to show up wherever he can to get in the way of the gang, whether it's shenanigans with Kramer or otherwise. But. It's a really well done minifigure. Now we're gonna start in the kitchen and make our way around with all the references that I could spot from each of the episodes and the seasons that they're from. Starting at the very right, you'll see George in the painting, which you've probably seen this even if you haven't seen the show, The Package slash The Fatigues, where Kramer is having a photo shoot and George has to like lean onto the couch. It's a very odd looking uh, photo indeed. The next reference is a Superman magnet, and this is a recurring theme that happens in almost every single episode where Superman will appear as a magnet on the refrigerator or as a statue. I'm very happy there's a minifigure version of Superman there. They got the clearance with Warner Brothers to make it happen, but not just the Superman magnet. There's also a menu for Monk's Cafe, which is where they end up grabbing a cup of coffee in pretty much every single episode of the show. You'll notice there's a guy with gray hair as a picture on the refrigerator. That's show creator and friend to Jerry Seinfeld, Larry David. If you're familiar with Curb Your Enthusiasm, you'll recognize this guy immediately. One I almost forgot about was Schmoopy, which is a reference to season seven, episode six, the infamous Soup Nazi episode. Now they weren't gonna put Soup Nazi on the refrigerator, but this is a pretty good reference for it nonetheless. Schmoopy pertains to a name that Jerry's girlfriend uses in the episode. And even on the side of the refrigerator, there's those weird oven mitts that Jerry has that just kind of exist there. They kind of swap out between different episodes, but you got at least two of them as stickers on the side. Moving past the door, you see the bike in the background, as well as that shelf that I told you about before. The blue micro figure, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to represent Superman. You see the poseable wooden doll that you can, you know, pose and sketch as if you were drawing. You have the radio back there as well. Moving into the office area, you'll see as a sticker on the computer, 
information for Vandalay Industries, which is a recurring segment across really the entirety of the show, starting with season one, episode two, and going all the way into the final episode of the show. It's apparently a latex company and a, a whole bunch of shenanigans with that. In the final episode of the show, that's actually the name of the judge that ends up sending the gang to prison. Spoiler alerts for that one if you weren't ready for it, I guess. This is another photograph. Even if you haven't seen the show, you've probably seen it just floating on the internet. It's the Kramer painting from season three, episode 20. Name of the episode is The Letter, and it's painted by Jerry's girlfriend, Nina. Moving back out into the living room, you'll see that there's a Porsche on the wall, which is a sort of reference to Lego and their affiliation with Porsche, but more so Jerry Seinfeld's love of Porsches, and that was apparent in the actual set for the show. This one took a little bit of memory jogging from me, but this old man picture here is Uncle Leo! And then there, for the rest of us, we have the Festivus poll. And I would have been very disappointed if they didn't include the Festivus poll, but they did. With all of those little references factored in, you see a pretty solid Lego recreation of the set, and that's made even more apparent by the rafters and lighting that lurks above the entirety of it. We've seen a similar thing in the Friends sets that have come out previously for Central Perk and Monica's apartment, but they included that here with a different light design, and it works really well for what it is. Between all of the stickers, the minifigures, and the amount of pieces you get in the set, if you are a Seinfeld fan, you're going to love this and recognize a lot of the details from all the episodes of the show. I remember watching this with my grandfather as a kid, and he loved the show, and I loved it for what it was back in the day, and a lot of the nothingness the show is about, I know I can relate to with my friends. Even if you haven't seen the show, I think you get a good idea for some micro builds you can do with the cabinets and the stove and microwave. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I got all the references, but maybe I missed something. So let me know in the comment section below if I missed anything. But if I didn't, then I did my job pretty well and I'm pretty proud of myself. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you again if they ever come out with another Seinfeld set, because I guess if we got two friend sets, that's on the table. But if not, have yourselves a great day and enjoy.